already have the network or the host-based intrusion detection system in your Linux environment. Once again, welcome to FOSS Asia 2016, Singapore. Now, we have one agenda for this uh, for today, and I'm not gonna be wasting much of your time deploying this one. It's very easy. And according to the Verizon's 2015 cyber uh, report, this is where the attacks are coming from. And we all know that uh, in any security, the weakest link is us. And I don't know where does the social engineering would fall under that one, maybe on the miscellaneous or the privilege misuse, which is 10.6%. And um, it's very important to have this kind of, of solution in our environment, especially on Linux side. Uh, if we would much re rely on, on the firewall, on the network-based intrusion detection system, what if the, the breach has been escalated inside? Or I would say that if you have a flat network that anybody who's, who has a uh, hacking knowledge could penetrate your environment especially on the production, uh, may it be financial system or not. And as what I've told you, it's very simple. I made it very simple for you guys. So uh, the problem with us is when we, when we see uh, any solution that when, when we saw the how-tos or, or the, the steps, some, some of us may we got into the lazy mode. So this one is very uh, uh, practical and in just less than five minutes, as what I told you earlier, you're done. Okay, it is not a network intrusion detection system, meaning it's more on passive rather than an active. So that's why it's not a real time detection. But as you all know that for us in the Linux administration, it's very easy to put a, in a cron schedule every minute, every hour, whatever you want to, to run the system and send email to you. And it's not a rootkit hunter, a malware detection program. It's not a antivirus. This is just, this is the command. No more, no less. And I have made a recorder. Uh, I, re I recorded this one, so I would not be wasting much of your time because I know that you're tired and maybe sleepy or something. So uh, I have recorded this one in my VMware. So this one, you can you could skip this one, the pre-linking, because some, uh, when I deploy this one to other environment, the pre-linking is just showing, but you could ignore this, totally ignore this one, okay? And first things first, if you're connected to the internet, as simple as yum. And that's it, it will not take you around Two minutes, okay. So this one is already installed, so that's why it's showing. But after this one, just two minutes or less. Initialize. This is the first step that after the installation that you may need to do, okay, to initialize the aid, the database. And this is the main directory of the aid in the varlib aid. 
after the initialization, you would see that there is a database uh, has been uh, initialized. But the problem is this file name, the aid does not recognize it. So we need to rename it. Okay, and what's the name? You will see it. So that's the name. You just put it out the the that new, okay, and that's it. You already have the the database for your e. And then we need to check if the database uh, looks okay. So it says looks okay, no problem at all. Because it's just very straightforward. Install, initialize, rename the, the database name that the aid would be readable. And then update. Okay. So the that db that new will not be recognized so you could delete that one or rename it to the uh, without the that new And then, as what I've told you earlier, we could schedule the task on the cron. So, whichever you want to, uh, what time do you want to run? And if you want to set the email, that it would automatically send into your email, okay, for reporting, send, you could put that in the cron. Even using the tripwire, uh, Tripwire is the commercial base of aid, okay? But it's not cheap. The GUI is good, but it's not cheap. Okay, this one is the free version, and it's similarly working um, uh, same thing, okay? File integrity check. So whenever an in the intruder check the file or put a new password. Uh, created a new user it will detect and it will send an email okay so that's the installation and and uh, putting up in, in into cron and to demonstrate it to you what exactly does does it do is this Now, this is the aid configuration file. If you will see, there's already the, that one that's being highlighted. If you want to tweak it or create your own file, you must not remove that one. You, you should copy and paste to that new, new file. And as best practices, create a copy of the original configuration file. Just in case something goes wrong, there is a backup solution or revert. Okay, and this is the default rules. PLNI, which is permission, uh, I know this has been changed, number of links, uh, user has been changed, the group size, okay, and the FIPSR is just a, uh, a code name. Actually, you can put your name and then the, the letters that uh, have been uh, rule, the rule, okay, so this one normally is equal to, which is the FIPSR and the SHA. 512, which is on the above. 
and I've made my own rule which is under the everything that would change okay everything that would change on these files the Etsy passwd the sudoers uh, slash aid.conf some if somebody knows how to uh, to change this one or, or uh, modify this one so at least you you could you could uh, determine and trace okay just this one is just for demonstration for sample the home home test okay so I just did this one my rule okay and later I'll show it to you in the the, the actual configuration okay So assuming that this file is not yet created, okay, the test and the sample. So it will show you later that the report, it will show you that a, a file from the, the slash home test has been created, okay, and also the sample. So I put a uh, comment on the sample uh, file. And I change it so just to just to POC uh, proof of concept of what what it is is doing and what tripwire is doing. It's just very similar. Okay, after this one, you could check the tripwire. You could ask for quotation and ask them for how much versus the FOSS. And change the ownership. have changed the file also for the aid.conf so uh, let's see if uh, it will be detected the file to check. Actually, A is just executing the A it should be fine. Okay, so it has detected uh, some files that has been changed. Okay, it says that the home sample has been added and also the test and there is one file that has been changed. I assume that would be the aid.conf. Okay, so, and this is the one that has been changed. The permission has been changed. What time, the access time, and the change time. So that's how aid is uh, working. So it's very simple. That's it. We just installed it earlier. We just initialize. We change the database name, and we we POC some some changes. Then it's already detected. Okay, it's very easy.
So the FC pass WD has been changed also. If you will see the hash. Okay. So it's quite easy. And after the update, the change file has been reported as 3. Okay, which is this one. Now, uh, just for the advice, do not assume anything that is, everything is secure. Do not rely on, on the network intrusion detection system, the firewall that we have in the company, uh, trust no one, okay? Uh, that's the problem that we have on the, under the social engineering, okay? So, paranoia is your friend. Always think that, is my system secured, okay? We doesn't stop on, after this one, after deploying this one, we don't stop there, okay? We always, there's a different ways. We need to lock down our system, right? using IP tables, uh, as in Linux, and whatever that uh, uh, security that we have. Okay? But some are not, uh, some are not free. Okay? Question. Any question uh, regarding this one? This is just the the steps. Okay. Question. Yes. Please. Is it available at the for the Raspberry Pi speed? Could be, I believe. There's an, because I saw some Ubuntu also for, for this one. Oh. Uh, so maybe the for, for the Raspberry uh, could be have. Okay. Yes, please. How does it compare to OSS SEC? OSS SEC is also a file integrity checker. Yeah. So I haven't. Honestly, I haven't checked that one because um, the one that I deployed in the company was required. And after this one, I asked the InfoSec guy to, we are paying so much every year uh, for, for the tripwire, so we have uh, changed this one. But the, the OS, OSS sec, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. Uh, the question. So it's very simple. Okay. No need for training or whatsoever. The tripwire, if you will see that there, they have the five days training. Three days for the operators training and two days for the management training. How to manage the the tripwire itself? Because uh, you need to install so many things. Okay. If it is uh, if your system is op for uh, SOX audit, PCI DSS, and uh, other IS, IS, uh, ISMS uh, uh, certification. So you need to install that one. Okay. If you run, if you run the the open scap, it will be detected if you install this one, the aid, the aid tripwire and other, I think OS has sec, I, I saw it there. Yeah. If there's no, no question, so thank you so much uh, for your time. And, okay. Uh, you could approach me if, if you have any other question.
Alors, vas-y, oui, voilà, on a pense.